Hello again, everybody. Welcome to the 23rd part of OOTP 22 Perfect Team featuring Big Polly's Bombers. It's part 23. It's July 4, 2021. A happy Independence Day if you are seeing this on Independence Day. And if you're not, I wish you had a good Independence Day on July 4, 2021. We have 14,000 points, 406 in the Perfect Point Bank, so I'm going to buy up 14 more bronze packs. This is also my cat's birthday. We know that uh, he was born July 4 of 08, so he turns 13 today. You might have seen my cat in, in some other videos I have done, uh, and, and that makes him 68 in human years. So he's older than me by a bunch. And I, I put him in a little early because I'll probably have to get him out of his little porch area where I keep him uh, at night. Uh, because of the fireworks that will probably be going off around here. Um, not too many fireworks last year, but of course that was COVID for you. Uh, our team went 67.95 this week slash season. So we are not moving up in the world the way I would like, despite all the diamonds I have on my team now. We racked up 14,000 points. I'll read through all my mail by not reading it. We were ninth in runs scored, but 14th in runs against. But I'm not really worried about quick fixes here. We're just going to get our 14 packs of cards, and we're just going to run through them all. You could get a silver pack now for 2,000 and a gold for three. Gold is the best return on your investment, but you know I don't. I'm not doing this season the way I did last. If this was last season, then yeah, I'd probably get. Four gold packs and a silver pack, but with collections, you want to get as many bronze packs as you can and try to get your odds of getting a perfect perfect card, or I like to call them a perfecto. Uh, I'll, so I'll get the look at 84 cards and my odds of getting per, of a perfect card, uh, you know, about one in eleven, one in twelve right now. Well, I'm like one in twelve and a half, I would say. So I'm going to pick up my fourteen packs at fourteen thousand perfect points, and we're just going to lock and load here, and we'll get started. Uh, just finished watching the Rays game on July fourth. They had lost five in a row, and they won today five to one. And we have a blank screen. Oh, we have a, and we have a goal. Joey Gallo. I was just had installed a patch, the most recent patch for OOTP 22, so it might be acting a little wonky because uh, I have a Dell and it's an older Dell and it doesn't have the latest uh, video cards in it, but it has 16 gigabytes of memory on it, so that's why I got it. Be ahead on that score. So let's open up our next pack. We picked up Joey Gallo. I think I was saying the other week that it sounds like a, it sounds like the name of a mobster. Crazy Joey Gallo. Sounds like he should be in La Cosa Nostra up in New York. So here I just pick up a bronze in David Peralta, who plays in left field. Twelve more packs to go. There's my bronze. Two bronzes. Oh, a diamond. Steven Strasburg. Hello. Three bronzes, four bronzes, and a diamond. Strasburg, who many thought would be uh, a legendary pitcher, but he's had a very good career so far. Eleven packs left to open, and then we will get down to business. Let's get down to business. Another gold, so we're doing good. And Aaron Miles, who played for the Cardinals many moons ago. Okay, so that's a good collection. Lance Lynn, who I just saw as the White Sox played the Rays. That was that game where Glasnow got hurt and he threw out, uh, threw out a ligament in his arm. He'll be lucky if he doesn't get Tommy John surgery for that. And the Rays have not played well since. Matt Manning, Scott Cooper, and Johan Pino of the 2014 Twins. Alex Colome, who used to be with the Rays, who's now a twin. 
If you uh, follow my HTBL series, yes, I've taken a few days off of that, uh, mainly because I was putting my Grand Slam wrestling shows together. We will get back to that on Monday, and then I don't know what's going to happen Tuesday because we have a, a tropical storm at least moving in, which the forecasters are saying it might not be a big thing, but we'll wait and see. Another gold, a manual class, or class A. He is a closer for the Cleveland Indians, who the Rays are about to play. That series might get affected by the inclement weather we'll be probably getting Tuesday night, Wednesday. Two bronzes, three bronzes, and that's that. Six more packs to open, at least, unless I, I make... I uh, hit any uh, completion missions. There's Yoshi Suzugo, who used to play for the Rays and got traded to the Dodgers earlier this year. A silver. Another silver. No, that's a bronze. That's a bronze. That's a bronze. So we picked uh, Raziel Iglesias, a right-handed closer. I wonder if I, I could wind up getting a Wander Franco card. He just did another home run for the Rays today. Jose Quintana. Probably the best card there. And for some reason, Confetti is in the air. I only picked up a silver, for heaven's sakes. Four packs to open, at least in this wave. Could be more waves. We don't know yet. So we'll resume HTBL play tomorrow, but any productions on Tuesday is up in the air at this point, depending on what the Tropical Storm does. Elsa, uh, Alan Wiggins, and Patrick Sandoval leading the pack on this. We have three packs left to open. Three more bronzes, and in fact, we have thought we had uh, duplication. We had Kurt Casale of the Giants and Celestino of the Twins. It's a good way to learn who's in the major leagues, these packs, and who was in the major leagues. With the histor I love the historical cards. Love it because they don't appreciate or depreciate in the value. What you see is what you get. Now, speaking of a historical, you got. Jayhawk Owens, who played a catcher for the Rockies in 96. What a name. Okay, last pack this, this time around, and we might have more waves to go through, depending on whether or not I can complete some collection missions. Got to think we're going to have at least one more wave, and we picked up a historical Toby Atwell of the Pirates. He was a catcher in 1954, and no, I did not know that beforehand. I love the fact that you can now get historical players who weren't big name players. You know, every you get the everyday players too. So Strasburg has made the team. Any of you old enough to remember an actress named Susan Strasburg? I, I was just watching her on an episode of the Rockford Files, which I which I get through Roku. Um, she was in an episode with Dick Godier. Another blast from the past. Uh, let's see here. Bueller, yeah, we got we we picked up another diamond pitcher. So let's see how this works. We have 174 in reserve, and we have oodles, I would think by now, of inactives. And yeah, we had it. We had one, two. We had three. Uh, Three uh, missions completed here, which isn't a lot, but. So I pick up an Adam Kennedy, who was a second baseman on the 0-2 uh, Anaheim Angels. I will submit and get my reward for that. The proud owner of an Adam Kennedy card. So Los Angeles A complete is complete. 
and I have two more to submit. And let's see a standard pack. Craig Biggio bronze lock, which gives me a another bronze pack. I will submit it. Very good. And then I have Ryan Sandberg bronze mission, and I will submit that. So very unlikely I would get anything more here. So I got Mr. Kennedy, Adam Kennedy, Kennedy, who was a wrestler back in the WWE of the 2000s, I would say. So let's open up my bronze packs and maybe something will come of it. And again, the screen goes blank for some reason. It's probably because it's the first time I've run a patch. So two bronzes, iron, iron, a historical iron though. That was Nate Andrews of the 45, I want to say that's the Boston Braves. And we'll look at the other pack. Get a silver, I owe silver away. And picked up one, two, three bronzes. And that's going to be that. Now, did that complete any other missions? And the answer would appear to be nay. Although we're at 90% on three missions. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten more missions were at 80%. So... We're doing good. We're doing good. Okay, so we picked up another diamond, which we always appreciate. And now we will get rid of the players that are not in any missions. And there aren't too many of those. We have Sung Wan O. Oh, but we need to look at in actives and reserves here. Omar Garcia Para is worth 11580 I sold a Lou Gehrig for like 19000 or so, and I probably could have gotten much more on it. Aaron Miles, a 65, going at 28, would be the minimum, and that would, it would be a shame to get that. Uh, so 65 minus 7 is 78, 58, I'm sorry, and we'll go to 116 on him. And if we don't sell him, he comes back. Next up is Aaron Miles. We'll try a different strategy here. We will go 20% off, which would be 13, 52, and we'll go up to a nice round number of 150. So alter the strategies a little bit if you have duplicates. That's what I do. Roman Mejias, who I, if I remember correctly, was a big um, uh, player in Little League for a Mexican team. He played on the uh, Houston Colt 45s when he grew up a little bit, but apparently he was a big-time star in the Little League, if I remember correctly. He's going at 42, so I'll put him up at 38 and sell him. Oh, we'll be generous and go 75 on him, and we'll sell him if no bid is placed. So again, we're looking for an actives and reserves here. We have Matt Maloney. Might go, oh yeah, he's definitely going higher because he's a historical We'll go 58 and 115 if you want to buy a five-point card right away. Merlin Cop, he goes at for 20. He's going for 25. Wow. Uh, so that'll be 22, and we'll put him up at 40. Should start doing nice round numbers, I think. I think that makes it an impulse buy. So we have Solly Hemus. Solly Hemus is on the reserve team, but he's at 87. So at 1537, I would sell him 154. Well, let's make it simple. Put him up at 1400 and sell him at 2100. And automatically put him up for, uh, sell him for 1000 because that's within. It's not more than double of the, the price I'm asking. So we go, we have one, two, three, four, five more, six to sell. And this is Scott Cooper, who we just got. 68, 72, will be 65, and we'll sell them at 125 and play nice. So 
So all of you um, who watch YouTube videos of OOTP, uh, this is what I do. You know what I'm selling. I feel like I'm on the Home Shopping Network. I used to work at Home Shopping because they aren't too far from weren't too far from where I live now, and they weren't too far from where I was living at the time I was working for them. Zip Collins at 59. We will put them up at 53 and go 105 on them. And we'll get him back if he doesn't sell. Frank Brown. He's selling at 26 even though he's like the worst iron you can get. I'll sell him at 23. Go to 45. And he'll come back if I don't sell him. And why should he sell? Toby Atwell, 54 Pittsburgh Pirates. He's going at 58, which would be 52. And I'll put him up at a, hun a hundo. Nate Andrews, who we just picked up. So he would go 27, 24, 45. We might get him back. And Lloyd Allen, 20, 40. Make it simple. Okay, so that's it for this week. Again, we wish everybody a happy 4th of July. If you're celebrating it within the United States, or maybe you're an American living abroad, we wish you a happy 4th of July. This has been Big Collie coming to you. We will be back next week, July 11th, Lord willing, and if the creek does not rise. Talk to you then. Godspeed and God bless. We'll do it again soon. Bye-bye for now, everybody.